from Forex Traders Daily. This is your daily analysis with Ross Mullins, live from Richmond, Virginia. Hello, everyone. This is today's video analysis for November 2nd, 2017. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the GBP USD Great British Pound versus US dollar for today's trade analysis. Let's discuss the elephant in the room, 8 a.m. Eastern US time, about 30 minutes from the recording of this video. We have the inflation report, uh, monetary policy summary, uh, bank rate vote, the potential raise of the interest rates there in the UK, all of this coming out at the same time. And then not too far after that, we have the Bank of England governor speaking at 8.30 a.m. So between 8 a.m., 8.30 a.m. could be very volatile on the pairs that include the GBP, like the pound dollar that we discuss here quite often here in our morning analysis video and in the live trade room. Anyway, so we know that that's about to happen. There's this anticipation, expectation that they will raise the rates. You can see that right here in the middle, official bank rate up from 0 0.25 to 0 0.5. So if they do, if there is this raise of rates, that's going to be uh, a boost for the British pound. And then we would look for this to take a nice rally higher and, and break through resistance and go higher. If they don't, if they don't do what's anticipated, if the market doesn't see what they want to see, it's likely we look for a significant sell-off of the British pound. And we look for this to go significantly lower so uh, we really want to watch to see what they do what what does the the bank of england do do they raise do they not raise there's anticipation that they will if they don't how bad is that going to be we we know that you know overall looming we have the brexit information happening out there as well so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the technical aspects of the chart and how that might help us as we see what the Bank of England does. Let's move this out of the way. This blue box is really where the market has been contained for quite some time now. You can go all the way back to the left-hand side of the blue box. We've been in here since about October 3rd, so almost a month now. This is about a month that is contained within this blue box. Let me get it closer to that, closer to that month there. So that's what we've seen. We've seen the market contained within that blue box for about a month pink zone at the top closer to the uh, 133.15 level the green zone 132.10 32.40 blue zone 131.25.55 and the orange zone 130.70 130.25 so been bouncing around in there for quite some time finding resistance and support the trend what is the trend the trend has been up uh, so that's not too hard to see with the blue trend line the 100 period moving average so if there is an interest rate raise they change you they raise it up the expectation is we would look for this to go higher in the direction of the trend buy support break resistance we look for it to challenge the resistance highs all the way at the top of the chart if they don't i think it's very likely that we see the breakdown of the blue trend line 100 period moving average and the beginning of a new fall new uh, downtrend for the pound dollar let's zoom it back in so again a raise of rates Good news, we sent it back higher, pushing it uh, potentially all the way back up here to the orange shaded area at the top of the chart or higher. Uh, and again, underneath the 100 period moving average, the blue trend line, the supports, we look for it to go lower. Let's zoom it in one more time. Let's take a look at some of these support resistance levels a little bit deeper. Uh, again, right now we saw over the past few, several days, 10, 11 days, we saw it kind of stuck between the blue and the green zone. We saw the market try to get above there yesterday. It got above it, went up to the pink zone, now falling back down. This fall could be an anticipation of volatility coming for the pound dollar with this news coming up in just a few minutes. Uh, a bounce here, breaking through the pink zone. We look for this currency bear to take a move much higher. Uh, again, a, a sell-off, I think th the best opportunity to sell it would be the break of the trend line, the break of the moving, moving average. That's going to be our best opportunity to sell it. No raise, no, no change of interest rates, uh, lack of confidence. It breaks down through that barrier of support, 100 period moving average, trend line, orange shaded area, and we look for a significant drop-off. Uh, the confidence comes that the, the, the government sees strengthen the economy enough to raise the interest rates and then it breaks through the top side of course again keeping in mind the brexit uh, information coming up uh, that could also bear some weight here on this currency pair but we know where our breaking points are the bottom the support breaking through these supports here at the orange zone 
uh, we look for it to go lower. And of course, we know where the resistance is, the pink zone. We can see that, not too hard to see, just above the 133 level. A break of those resistance. We've been in consolidation. We've been waiting for some significant news. You know, you take a trend line like this, and you can see, let me make it black so it's easier to see here uh, you can see the market just kind of uh, in a little bit of a rise but not too not too uh, aggressive of a rise we've seen it uh, a little bit of a fall but not too aggressive of a fall so uh, really it's the breakout scenario it's the the raise or no raise of the interest rates that we're really looking for here for the pound dollar today before we make our next trade on this currency pair from Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.